guys this is my first video which, well it's my second attempt because the first time I did it it got like deleted it's like what time is it it's like one o'clock in the morning right now which is great so we're gonna be doing our makeup today um I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I just know that I'm gonna do something so introduce myself my name is Kelsey um, kind of crazy first thing we're going to do is primer faces so the primer we're going to go in with first is the elf mineral infused primer so I put this on and I put it all over my face next primer we're going in with is y'all all know the elf Poreless Putty Primer. Everybody loves this. Jeffrey started a video on it and then it was, was the craze. So, we're gonna... I do this too, like, that much. Not a lot. And I just... I put it on my T-zone mainly. That's where my pores are. I feel like my skin today is, like, really red and irritated. But, I don't care. So, what I'm going to go in with for foundation, um, I usually like to use my Juvia's Place foundation, but I decided to do something different, so I'm just going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. So, actually, first, I'm going to color correct because my mustache darkness is really bad. So are my underbags. So, we're going to do that. Wet n Wild, um color corrector in the shit in peach so I'm just gonna like apply that right in this area where my mustache is I don't do this a lot with um you know I don't like color correct a lot but sometimes I do I mean it's fun like why not you know then I put some where my eye bags are to conceal that darkness like so so after we got that applied I'm going to take a beauty blender. I'm just gonna take this one and buff it out. You know, as good as it's gonna get. Um, now foundation. So taking that wet and wild, shaking that very good, and I just apply with the paddle. I'm lazy. I'm not. I'm not that bougie. I'm gonna take this beauty, this is the Tarte Beauty Sponge. Um, when I ordered the concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape, they sent me this. And it's like a really good sponge, so. I'm using the flat side. And I'm just gonna blend. So I'm gonna go back in on my foundation. I'm just gonna put some on my neck, just a little bit, and some more in the areas where I need more coverage. We've all been there, ladies. You know, someone's gotta comment on how you're Neck doesn't match. Blend to the gods. Make sure you don't look like a crackhead. Now that we've done that. Oh, I got foundation on my desk. Great. Um, now we're done with that. I'm gonna go in with tried and true. Every beauty guru uses it at least once. Most people love it. Um, the Tarte Shape Tape. We, we, we all know this. We, we all love this. Um, this is the shade Light Medium. So I just like go under my eyes with this. Above the lid like I said I was going to do earlier. And like, like I have a pimple right there. And then one up here. And I just cover that up. And maybe like on my cheeks a little bit. Or my redness likes to pop through. Okay, so we're back just to wet it down. So I'm gonna take that small bee blender and like I was doing before, just blend. So now we got that blended in. Um, we're gonna go in with a lighter concealer for highlighting. So the shade I use for highlighting in Shape Tape, because love that, um, is Fair. I use Fair for this, for that shade. And it's just lighter and I use it to highlight. So I think what I'm going to do is like, a brown like smoky eye maybe and like a little blue in the bottom lash that might be cute so we might I might do so now we're gonna go with the lighter concealer oh spilled a little bit a little bit just a tiny bit cupid's bow well not cupid's bow what's this area called right there like 
Because the top of your lip is your cupid's bow, right? So, like, what is that area? Upper lip? Go back in with the beauty, beauty blender and blend it out. So, got that blended, as you can see. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to contour. What I use for cream contours, I use like this e.l.f. in, it's like a cream contour palette. And it has four shades in it. And it has, oop. So, I use these shades. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm using this brush because I'm going to use, I'm going to like dab into the shade, dab a little bit to in this shade, like that. And put it on my face. Now, what I try to do is I try to like keep it very high up on the cheekbone, only because like if you if you make if you like if you put it all the way down here, it's gonna drag your face down, and you're gonna look older. So now I'm going in with this the darkest shade in the corner right here like that and dab just a little and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna darken like give it more depth now that we've done that what I'm going to do is take this brush the original brush that I had and I just it don't blend down don't blend I usually just blend up like that and try not to drag so much, but tap, you know what I mean? So like, tap, 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 tap. I'd use a little bit of powder. Um, the powder I use is the Fit Me powder. So I take this powder, ooh, it's dusty. Tap it into the lid. Oh, by the way, I don't contour my nose because I just, I feel like I have a small nose anyways, and when I contour my nose, it just makes me look not good. So, so I'm going to use this brush. It's like a fluffy brush, and it's kind of like tapered, so you can get into the corners. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take some powder, and powder my face. I try to get as close as to my lash line as possible without getting the powder in my eye please do not get powder in your eye because it's not fun <laughs> nobody likes that so don't do that when I powder I powder my nose extra because I know that's where the foundation usually slips off is my nose so I try to do that and with this powder since it is colored powder I try to avoid the areas we just contour and kind of powder around it only because we're going to bronze anyway so we're going to set it with the bronzer so yeah this is what we got so far looking pretty good looking pretty spicy so now we're going to put a little bit of bronzer on the bronzer i use is wet and wild um this is in the shade sunset strip tease say that two times fast the brush i like to use i like to use a big fluffy brush for bronzer because i feel it, like it makes it look good so i use like this big fluffy brush this is an elf brush the total face brush most of this video is elf products because i'm not rich i don't have the money to be buying expensive brushes so what i do with this is just dust it and the same thing as we did before try not to like do it all the way down here like do it kind of on your cheekbones like kind of like up. That's what I do. Okay, so same bronzer. Take a little bit. And I just go under my jawline. And I'm tapping some of that out just to like fade it a little bit. So it's not like crazy so 
got that. Okay. Next, I'm going to do some. I'm going to do my eyebrows. So, so for brows, um, I use a combination of brow gel and a pencil because I like the feathered look and I kind of have a feathered brow so I kind of have to match it with my other brow because what what happened um story time what happened with this brow and why it's like so feathered and up weird looking is because when I was in middle school I had a unibrow and I thought it was hideous and ugly so what I did is I took a razor like it like razor you shave your legs with and I shaved the center where my unibrow was and it shaved it took off the like this of my eyebrow and so when the hairs grew back they grew like wild so what I'm taking for my eyebrow gel is this like soft brown color I think it's, I don't know what brand it is, honestly. I got it at like five and below. It's good, it's, it's good. I think it's good. So I take this brow gel, but first, before I do that, I take a brow pencil. This is Wet n Wild Micro Brow Pencil in the shade, I don't know what the shade is. It's a brown color. That's all I know. And I take the spoolie side and I do this brush through my hairs and the reason why I kind of brush through my hairs before I do them is just to get the foundation out of them I take it it's it's a really small like point that's what I really like about this one because it really lets you get like it, it lets you draw like hairs in there so I just do the front of my brow with the brow pencil just a minute Oh, it doesn't take me a long time, I'm sure. It's actually quite easy to do this. If you're experienced, I'm not saying lots of people can do it, but. So, I do that. So, after I finish with the brow pencil. Like, something like this, like really tiny. So, I just take that brow gel, and this is like a medium brown. Like, it's a warm brown. And what I do with this is I just fill in the ends of my brows. So, like that. And then what I kind of do is I kind of flick at the front. Just like very light handedly, like you're barely touching the brow. Just to give it that color. And do the other side the same way. So, now that we got the brows done, I think that looks pretty good. I mean, that's as good as they're going to get. You know, brows are sisters, not twins. So now, now that we got that done, I take a brow gel. And for brow gel, I use e.l.f. And this is a lot of e.l.f. It's, this video is basically drugstore. Like, that's all I use. So, this is like the only high dollar thing I have. And then like, my palettes, which I got for my like birthday didn't pay for it so i take this brow gel it's called wow brow by elf i don't know what shade it is but it's like a ashy brown and i just comb through the brows like that and i don't usually use a lot this is just trying like this is just for to keep my brows in place because we all need that so brows are done now I'm gonna go in with eyes. We're gonna do eyes. So for eyes, as I said, I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill palette. I also have my James Charles palette here, which is kind of busted and crusted and dirty. I've had it for a little while. So I think I'm gonna use those two palettes. I don't know if I'm gonna use the Jeffree, St Jeffree Star. Haha, <laughs> the wrong person. I don't know if I'm going to be ending ending up using the um James Charles palette but so when I look at this I don't know what I want to do like I don't know what combination you know like I don't so 
plastic is bad. <laughs> we all know that. So, these have shade names. Guess not. Is he on the paper? That kind of sucks. There's no shade names. Um, I'm gonna go with a fluffy brush. Like this. Just a, like regular really eyeshadow. By the way, got this today. You know the thing where you like change, like you rub your brush in it and it changes the eyeshadow? It's gonna be a lifesaver. I swear to God. I go through so many brushes, you have no idea. So I think what shade I'm gonna go in with first. I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, this top shade. I don't have the shade names. I don't know where they're located on the palette. Doesn't seem to be nowhere, but. Oh well. So what I'm gonna do is just, I'm patting that kind of like all over my lid really. It's really just like to get the creases out, you know, with the concealer we put on earlier. Like that I'm like I'm kind of leaning towards this area like these reds especially that one I think I might do something like that so the first transition shade I think I'm gonna go in with this pumpkin color right here so we're gonna go in with that just as a transition and I'm just gonna put it in my crease like so now this is my first time trying this palette, so I have no idea if the like formula is gonna be good. I know Jacqueline's had like scams in the past with her makeup. Personally, I've never owned any of her makeup, so I wouldn't know if it was <laughs> good or bad. Really, it's okay. So I'm taking this like fluffier like brush. It's kind of fluffier, and. I'm going to go in with the shade uh, right next to that one I just used. This one, which is kind of like more um, reddish, I guess. So I'm going to do that. I'm ready to tap it off like... I mean, I've been using the Jane Charles palette for a while now. And it's got pigment. Like, I barely had to tap into the shade, but this one I'm kind of like having a dig into it to get even any pigment which i don't know how i feel about that you know i mean so we got that shade in it's kind of orangey kind of tangerine looking all that stuff you probably can't see it that well because my mind is kind of bad but it's kind of like orangey looking color so I want to deepen it up a little bit. So I think the shade I'm going to go into next, I'm thinking this shade down here, this pumpkin looking dark, darker shade. I mean, I probably mix these two. So probably mix this and this. Just like kind of going for the color I'm trying to make. So yeah, so I think that's good. So now I'm gonna go back with the first brush we had, which is um, this like, I'm gonna go with this brush. It's like more condensed and tiny. And I'm gonna go in with, I think, I'm gonna go in with, okay, so camera kinda cut out. So this is what we have so far, um, the little orange kind of halo. So I want to darken up the crease some more. So I'm going to take, thinking this or this, one of these two shades. I think I'm just going to mix them a little bit like that. And what I'm going to do is kind of pack it on the outer corner like that, like so. It. So I'm going to go back with that fluffy brush and that transition shade we used in two shades and blend the edges of that out. So I'm gonna go back on that packing brush and I'm a th I think I'm gonna go in with these because I don't want that red, I like I don't want that red color and I'm just gonna get these and load up my brush 
and do the outer corners. If you hear my brother heaving, I'm sorry, he's very loud. This is what, what we got going. This is what we got going. Ooh. Brush fell. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this yellow, yellowy orange shade right here and I'm taking like a fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in my inner corner, like right here in this area. Just to brighten that area up a little bit. I gotta make sure I'm not dipping into the wrong colors. I feel like if I'm not careful, I will, because that's something I would do. So I'm gonna go back in with this fluffy brush and I'm going to take in these shades right here taking these and I'm just gonna kind of like go over and crease it in so I'm gonna go in with that packer brush we originally got and I think I'm gonna change the mood of this look a little bit and I'm gonna go in with this shade actually this dark mixed with this one I'm gonna pack that on the outer corner like so i'm gonna go in with this brush i'm gonna take that yellow again because this is more like a dense brush i'm gonna try to pack it on more because i just feel like i'm not seeing what i want in that yellow and i'm gonna go into the yellow shade i think it's called b i don't have the um i don't have the uh cover with the names on it I'm going to take a flat top brush. I think I'm gonna use like this brush, as you can see, like flat. So the video stopped recording. I was gonna talk to myself for about <laughs> 15 minutes. So great, we're on lashes. So what you missed is I put a teal shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette under my eye and then the sparkly teal shade right here and then I did my face makeup. Um, I used e.l.f. blush in the shade Brick Red and some Wet n Wild Highlighter Flower Crown. We're on lashes. These lashes I don't know the name of. I already put glue on them. Okay, so putting this one on in my eye. I'm going to try to show you how, but it's kind of hard. So I kind of go up like this. And stick it on. And I try to line up, line it up as best as I can with my lash line. So just taking the other lash and doing that. The lashes are uneven as mine are. Hopefully, you did a better job than I did. But yes, done with that part. So I like to let my lashes dry a little bit before I do mascara, so I blend my lashes with it because I feel like they come off if I don't let them dry a little bit more so while I'm waiting for that I do my lips so the liner I'm going to use is Sandstorm it's NYX So the color I'm gonna go in with, I think I wanna go in with Family Jewels by Jeffree Star. Okay, so now that we overlined our lips, 
a bunch. So now I'm going to blend my lashes with mascara. And for mascara, I use Lash Paradise. You know, the one that everybody uses. What is great? You love chunks. Okay, so mascara is done. Now it's just time for setting spray, I guess. Um, so for setting spray, I use the Coconut uh, Rose Milk Face Mist. I got set like Dollar Tree. It actually works pretty good, like I don't mind it. It does its job, so you, you can't really argue with that. Then I just take my trusty dusty fan. <coughs> okay, so this is the finished look. It's kind of warm eyelid with the blue under and the face and the lips. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you like to, I'm not forcing you nobody is please subscribe like do all that jazz if you like this video and follow along you know if you want to do this look that's fine follow along you know if you want to get ready in the morning go ahead you know so i hope you enjoyed this 1 a.m makeup tutorial on in quarantine so hope you guys like it i hope you have a great day bye I'm